We have always, as joint replacement surgeons, thought we've done an incredible job. We've always talked about success rates in the 95 to 98 percent range after total knee replacement. What we realize now when we quoted those studies is that objective findings, the motion, the stability, ultimately the longevity of those implants, in general had very high success rates in the 95 to 98 percent range. What we later have found out, or more recently have found out, when you actually ask patients what they feel is happening with their knee, 80% feel they've had a great result and would do it again and feel that they're much better than they were before the surgery. Up to 20% of patients feel that they still have problems with the knee. It doesn't feel like their normal knee. It may have taken away their pain on a pure pain scale, but it hasn't accomplished all their goals that they thought or that they anticipated accomplishing. All of the changes done over the years to improve the design, the alignment, the instrumentation, the sizing, position, placement, even including uh, computer navigation and utilizing those tools, we haven't really moved the needle in patient satisfaction very much. We've improved the longevity of the implants. We've improved the reproducibility of the operation. But still, there is about one in uh, five patients across the nation that when they're honest with us in the anonymous patient satisfaction surveys, we're finding they're disappointed with the final result of their knee replacement. When people get a uh, total joint, they not only want pain relief, but they want to resume some of their active lifestyle. And what they find is that with a off-the-shelf total knee, a lot of times they're not able to do that because certain activities really bother them still. A lot of times it's going up and down stairs, it's, it's climbing hills, those type of things. And the reason for that is because there are compromises that we have to make with a, with a total knee. You know, traditional knee replacement uh, by most patient accounts is a very difficult thing to go through. You know, most of us who do hips uh, and knees see the difference. Our hip patients are usually, uh, after a couple of weeks, uh, pretty pleased with how they're doing, already getting back to normal activities. Whereas the traditional knee, the, the traditional knee replacement patients are having a harder time. They struggle with pain and mobility and getting the knee to bend and straighten properly. So there's real challenges there with uh, traditional total knee replacement as far as the, how the patient recovers. And that's very important to them. You know, we're looking at our x-rays and saying, well, there's nothing wrong with the x-ray. I mean, clearly it's gotta be the patient. I'm doing everything the same in every patient. Why is it that there, there are some outliers? Why are two out of 10 on the average not happy with their implant where the x-rays look good? I think I've done the operation well. Um, and those are those, you know, things that are really not well explained um, by the knowledge up, up until now, until conformists came along, they described the fact that even a slight rotational abnormality or a slight overhanging prosthesis or underhanging prosthesis, if you will, any of these minor, minor imperfections can lead to this dissatisfaction. And it, it made perfect sense to me. I said, well, you, this must be that unexplained group that, you know, I can't tell why. The x-ray looks fine, so it must be the patient. But in reality, it's, it's something that we were missing. Thank <music> you.